Phillies Power 99, Dread, Mina, Mother, Rise and Grind Morning Show, special special guest, stop by the studio to holler at us right fast. Absolutely. Tony Sunshine's in the building. Thank hey, you, thank you. Puerto Rico. What's going on? Hey, one of my people. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time since I've been here. <laughs> thank you for having Not me, guys. three of us. <laughs> me, Johnny V, and Tony Sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yo, so uh, Tony, Tony Sunshine's here because... He actually was just at the Puerto Rican Day Parade here locally in Philly. Right. You know, I MC the parade, and uh, you were with our truck and everything. Yeah, you so, guys, yeah. You, you guys blessed me and had me come out, and um, it was it was my first time experiencing the the, the Philly parade, but yeah, it was definitely an experience. Yeah, I see you travel all over the place doing all parades everywhere. I was um, looking at your Instagram. It's important to spread that love, yeah. man. The people that support you is important to reach out and touch them, and 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 no matter how long, you know, you might have been away from the game. Your people always embrace you and, and and show you the utmost love. So when, you know, I was sort of for, for, for a very long time, I thought that New York City was the only place that had a Puerto Rican Day no, Parade. There's a lot of Puerto Ricans I didn't know. I didn't know Stop yeah, I didn't know, that, I didn't know that New Jersey. I didn't know that California yeah. had one, New Jersey, yeah. Philly. Really? Really, like, you know, and I thought that I was well cultured with mine. Nah, <laughs> you, you know, know what I mean? Not I thought we was the only ones in no. New York talking about Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. <laughs> you know, but you know. <laughs> well, you know, um, I put Tony on a spot, and this was right. airing live on Six ABC, the parade, right? Right. So I, Tony ran. Oh, what, what kind of car they had you in? A, uh, a, a Ferrari, Ferrari, a Ferrari, Ferrari a Lambo, whatever. Or he ran out the car and just sang on the spot on Six ABC. Yeah. Can you Yo. can you do that again? Uh, we, well, I sang the the Spanish anthem. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. La tierra de Borinquen, donde nacido yo. La real Take that, Anthony. Right. Yeah. <laughs> really? I cracked a little bit right there, but you know. <laughs> he sings a complete. I'm hurt you, mother. All right, Tony Sunshine. Let's get the particulars out the way. I know you asked this question a million times. Right. You and Terror Squad. Is it a go? Is it not a go? Are you and Joe on good terms? What's the deal with you uh, and Remy? We, like, we, damn. We're not on bad terms in no shape, form, or fashion. It's just that Joe and I haven't had the opportunity to really um sit down and have a man-to-man conversation. I mean, okay. we didn't part ways in 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 a real bad way. I walked away as a perfect gentleman. It was just that I, after a numerous amount of years and a numerous amount of record deals, no legitimate singles, no legitimate visuals, I felt like it was my time to move on and if I made a mistake this time around then I could point the finger at myself and right. not say it's anybody else's fault. Not saying that it was Joe's fault, but I feel like he paid he played a major part in my career and there was more that could have been done. Right. Yeah, it wasn't about money. It wasn't about any financial situations. I was well off. I was doing my shows and doing my thing. So because you were the singer of the t- Terror mm-hmm. Squad, right. anything Fat Joe, Remy Ma, you know, right. you was always the singer. You know, when I when I was doing my research, I read that you met Joe when you were thirteen years old, I was 13. and then he ushered you into a, a recording deal. You know, right. now as an adult, do you look back and feel like you could have signed a better deal, or wh- what could well, have been done differently? Well, when I was thirteen years old, you know, I sang some for Joe. We had a mutual friend. I sang some for him. Um, I think the very next day. I'm sure the very next day, you know, I was riding with him in his MPV and we was going to Relativity Records and um, Video Music Box. And I sang on Video Music Box for Robert McDaniels McDaniels. at the age of 13, 14. (laughs) Joe took me to see High Five at one time so that I can sing some for them. But, you know, being young and and not having proper guidance and having a mother at the time that, you know, was, was sort of strict. I wasn't really allowed to come back out for like the next two years. You know what I mean? And at that time, Pun was on the scene already. And and, right. and and I had met with Pun, and we were singing and banging on mailboxes and things like that. Yeah. So, you know, we'll say that I was, yeah, I was Joe's guy, but Pun ushered me into the game. Did you make a lot of money? Because I feel like during the 90s, like Terror Squad, Remy, Joe, I mean, the whole squad, Terror um, Squad was a big deal. So Did you make any money off on, of that? On, on paper, you know, it, it's, it's questionable, <laughs> but... On you know, street? show show money and things yeah, of that nature. I, yeah. I pretty much was well off. You know, with the hundred percent record, with the remix of T O N Y, with the Oh My God record with Puff. You know, and a lot of other records that I kept putting out at the time. They were called white labels, but I was so consistent with the white labels. New York City, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania. You know, yeah. those places were booking me like water. So I was getting right. 
five, 10 to 15, sometimes even 20 grand a show doing four or five shows a week. So I wouldn't complain to Joe about a dollar. I wouldn't ask the man for anything. Listen, I don't know how many times I've seen you in Allentown, <laughs> Redding, yeah, like, money. Everywhere. heavy everywhere. out everywhere. there. Everywhere. Heavy. Bless, yo, thank God. Yo, Khaled was on Terror Squad at one point. Um, Khaled, Khaled, was... Khaled was official Terror Squad. What? Um, like he was very well known in Miami, but we were we were sort of like the first rap group that were making noise to really embrace him and take him in. And Joe gave him a chain and was like, "Hey, you with us?" And 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 you know he was like the 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 DJ, the spokesperson for Terror Squad. Yeah. So yeah, he was Terror Squad. Wow. They say you missed Big Pun's anniversary party. Is that true? Big Pun's which one? The first or second one? I mean, I, I'm 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 sort of on a different wave these days, man. I, I I'm I'm trying to be a different individual in, in a whole. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to change my attitude and the way I carry myself and the way I present my music in a whole. And I think that it's time for us to grow up. So it wasn't that I wanted to miss Pun's anniversary party. I love Pun dearly, and everybody knows I rep him. Mm -hmm. You know, I love his wife. I love his kids. But for me to put myself in the position in the predicament where I've worked so hard to get back to where I'm going and get into a confrontation with someone who's really not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? So to avoid issues and confrontations. Who's that person that you're talking and, about? You know, I vowed not to say his name. He's not important. He's, okay, so he was at the anniversary was party at the, he, and you were yeah. trying to avoid that. And, you know, that for me in itself, it, it, it proves that I've changed because the other Tony would have went over there and not cared about the situation and it would have been all over the airways. And who knows? Mm -hmm. It's a pun anniversary. You know, so I'm going to be the respectable guy and I'm just not going to come. Pun knows I love Makes him. Sense. I rip him in my heart. Mm -hmm. He's right here. Mm -hmm. You know? So that was that. Do you think Big Pun's contribution to hip hop is res gets the respect that it deserves? Um, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But, um... Why do you think that is? Because lyrically, I mean, this man. I think, I think was that, amazing. I think that he came and went so fast, mm. you know, and the impact he made was what was a strong one, but the way hip hop was changing at the time and all the styles that was coming in is like, you know, he's just, he, uh, I can't explain it. I get lost for words. Mm -hmm. But he definitely doesn't get the respect he deserves. And um, Chris is doing his thing, though. He sounds just like his dad. You, I was going to ask you, you've worked with his, his son, son, Chris Rivers. Do you, you know, is, does he mimic his father? Is he like him? Um, What's his personality what like? I like what, I, what, what, what I respect and I love about Chris is that he's not trying to ride Pun's coattail. Mm. You know, he acknowledges that he sounds like his dad. He acknowledges that his delivery somewhat is like his dad. But I think he's taken pun style and somewhat made it his own and he's trying to um what would what would i say Evo evolutionize yeah evolve yeah yeah evolve. so he's doing his own thing with that so big up to him but i think with what he's doing and them saying that he's pun son is going to make people want to go back and listen to what pun was doing and mm -hmm. really because people don't don't really listen to what the man was talking about he was really breaking down yeah. some things like what yeah. he was talking about was really complex and i think that that makes people want to, he was all right. Are you really listening to the content and what he was talking about and right. the things yeah. that he was saying to you? Yeah. So yeah. let's talk about Tony Sunshine. You have music out right now. Well, actually, you know what? You've been putting music out since, what, 2000, 2001? Pretty yeah. much since 2000. average every year. Right. You've been pushing music out. What you have going on now? Um, Close. I have the new single, Close. It's mm -hmm. on Spotify, iTunes. You could even get it on YouTube. Um, is, a, is is my rendition of Maxi Priest record close to you? Mm -hmm. hey. And I thought that yeah, with like everything it. that's going on right now with the dance hall music and Tory Lanez and 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 Drake and Rihanna and what everybody's bringing to the table, I've been doing that dance hall music. It's just that I didn't really bring it to the table, so I thought that it was the right time to do something like that. Right, mm -hmm. you know. And um, I think the record is really dope. It's gonna it's gonna creep up on people. So how is it like trying to promote it? You know, do 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 you do you get the respect that you deserve? Like, do are people like um, yeah, Tony Tony Sunshine come through? Uh, people are definitely opening their doors up again after being gone for six and a half to seven years, right? And taking a break and and you know um dealing with the adversity the adversities that life hands you, um is overwhelming to see how the people are showing love and receiving me back into the game. 
I just know that it's up to me to stay consistent and make that power music that people want to listen to. Yeah. The Bad Boy Reunion Tour did extremely well. Will there be a reunion with Terror Squad? I don't see I don't see myself um saying no to that. We just have to do it the correct way. Mm-hmm. And it wouldn't be about money with me. It just has to be sincere and it has to come from the heart. I don't want to be utilized for for the moment and then, you know, uh. It has to be sincere. We have right. to be men about hours and sit down and things have to be sorted out. And like I said, it's not a situation where we can't do that. It's not a situation where things can't be sorted out and talked about. In your opinion, who is Terror Squad? In my opinion? In your opinion. I mean, you know, I think everybody, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't take discredit anybody in the team. I think everybody at some point brought something to the table. Okay. Let, let me ask you this, and this is an urban legend. Um, I, you know, I, I was a little bit younger when you guys were popping. So, right. it, jo, Fat Joe slicing Cuban Link's face—that's that's definitely a that, legend. Okay, that that's, never happened. I mean, I wasn't there that night. I had just signed. Cuban my, Links was mm-hmm. a, a terror squad. Yeah. Or was he not? Allegedly. He he was. Okay. 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 Because <laughs> the baby gave me. You took a pause. I was like, we're going to say something wrong. Was. <laughs> you know, I don't want to sit here and bash the guy. I said I would never say his name again, okay. and I won't. Okay. Is, you know. Oh, is this the guy that was at the anniversary party? I'm putting I one mean, and one together. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to make him famous or, okay, or, okay. or, or give him my light right now. Okay, hey, so Tony, J- Joe oh didn't. Joe didn't. That's that's fake. I mean, like I said, I wasn't there that night. This is not me tucking my tail in or anything. I wasn't yeah. there that night. I had just signed my first deal to Loud Records, okay. and, and and my work ethic is like that. So, Tony, let me backtrack a little bit. You said you took a break for six and a half years. What were you doing for that six and a half? Um, like I said, I was dealing with the adversities that life um hands you, and 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 sometimes you know. So it wasn't like kids. You you didn't get married. No, you it, was, it was it was it was it was. It was it was a mixture of a lot of things. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I, uh, like I said, I've never been afraid to talk about what's real. So, you know, I, I went through a lot of um, ups and downs and depression and, and okay. stress and anxiety and drugs were involved and things of that nature and, and you know, wife and kids. And okay. so Life. all that together, I just say, you know what, because I'm a hot, I was a hot-headed dude at the time, too. I was always in trouble in the newspapers and things like that. So mm-hmm. I had to recollect myself and say, you know what, let me fall back and get myself together before the pressures make me do something that I won't be able to take back. Mm-hmm. Right. You understand? So I had to I had to fall back and, and, and get myself well. Yeah. Right. And that takes time. You got you gotta time. be you gotta be good it first before you start, you know, investing your energy in a career and Most music definitely. and all of that. Most definitely And thanks for being honest about depression. There's a lot of people out here yeah. battling depression. Kid Cudi recently opened up. God about bless being him, depressed. man. My friend, my prayer, my prayers, my prayers go out there. Out here it's something making serious. Songs. Making yeah. fun of him. Right. Right. Some say, him. Yeah, but I mean, what kind of people can we say they are? What kind right. of leaders? Mm-hmm. What kind of what kind of individuals can we say they are? If when in a time of need, you're going to throw shade. Yeah. yeah. You understand? Me personally, I can't call myself a real individual. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say the N-word, and I know I can't. But I can't call myself a real individual if I can't keep it real at all times. So my whole thing is I did a good job at putting myself out there and doing these things for the people to see. Why would I try to hide it now? I have to be real and talk about it and weed it out now so that that way I can move forward with my life. Yeah. Right. You understand? Yeah. 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 So nobody has to tell you. You don't have to congregate and whisper in nobody's ear and ask and say, hey, is this the... I'll tell you. Come and ask me. Mm-hmm. I'll share my experiences with you. Who knows? I might help you with something. Right. Yeah. Might, I might get something from you. Exactly. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So we can't be afraid to talk about the things that we have done for people to see. Yeah. The proof is in the pudding. What don't come out, come out in the wash. What don't come out in the wash, come out in the wash. The rinse. Okay, right. preacher yeah. sunshine. Talk yes. about it, Tony I mean, sunshine. Keep it real Talk over here, man. This morning. No, keeping it real. We, we real over here. Hold, Hold on. on. Yeah. yeah. So back to the issue or the subject of a terror squad reunion. What's your your relationship with Remy? Like, are you guys there when she was locked up? Did you go and see her? Did you speak to her? Uh. As far as the Remy situation goes, Remy and I have always been great. Remy's my little sister, and I love her. Mm-hmm. Did I get a, the opportunity to speak to her while she was doing her time or go visit her? I was dealing with my own situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So um, shout out to her. I've never really had an issue. I've never had no issue with her, so I love her. I think that she and I just need to have more time to to sit and talk and see each other. 
Mm-hmm. You have know. you reached out? Like somebody got to do the um, reaching out. I seen out. her at Summer Jam. I seen her at Summer Jam, and I gave her a hug and a kiss, and we we spoke briefly, and I told her I was proud of what she was doing. And yeah. She told me I looked good and asked me if I was in the gym. You know, so how about that Joe? Was it. Joe, I spoke to him briefly. I mean, I've seen Joe about maybe three to four times in the last ten years, and we've been very cordial and and, and brief conversation and things like that. But um, like I said, we haven't had the opportunity to really sit down and talk about what went wrong and, and, and things of that nature. So, um, well, someone got to put the effort in. That's where I'm getting with this. Like who you're just going to wait and see, or are you going to put the effort in? Like, how are you going to work on that? Are you going to work on it? I don't have an issue with it. Okay. I don't have an issue. It it, it doesn't take nothing but a phone call. All the other guys call me. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not like he doesn't have my number. He's the busy one. Yeah. He's the one that's all the way up on tour, you know, and I'm the guy trying to get back to where I need to be. So So backtracking a little bit. He's the one with the busy schedule. Mm -hmm. So backtracking a little bit, there was a show on BET called um, Inside Inside the the Label. Inside the Label. Right. They did one on Terror Squad. Right. Did you see it? Did you watch it? And how did you feel about it? Um, You know... I was a little confused, I'm not yeah. going to lie, and, 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 and there were a lot of things that were accurate, and there were a lot of things that were inaccurate, you know, and um, it is what it is. I'll what get... was inaccurate? Because uh, we weren't there, so we don't know, so as spectators right. were watching, and we're yeah, thinking that good. all this stuff happened. I mean, happened. you know, things that were said, things like, you know, some people make it and some people don't, and I got Tony Six deals, and, you know, I tried my best. Yeah. And, you know, I spend millions of dollars on these guys. And, you know, I witnessed Joe spend a lot of money on some of the fellas. You know, millions of dollars weren't spent on me. My uh-huh. money came from my advances, from my deals, you know, and things like that. And, yeah, every now and then Joe threw a couple of dollars at me. But millions of dollars, that's far-fetched. Right. You know, I never received a house or a car or things like that. Everything I got, I pretty much got on my own. Mm-hmm. Everything I did, I, I pretty much did on my own. You know, there were deals that came to me that I had to bring to the table. So, you know, we pretty much all had a lot to do with getting Tony deals and bringing things to the table. Right. You know, so, and and a lot of other things, you know, but I'll get my chance. I'll get, I'll get my opportunity. Absolutely. There will be sunshine. (laughs) (laughs) Let me ask you this. Big Pun's wife was uh, suing Fat Joe for royalties. Hey, Liza. What are your thoughts on that? Um, again... With 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 that there, that that is 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 like, I don't know the intel. Mm. I don't know Joe's paperwork with Pond. I don't know how their deal was structured. I don't know how their monies were handled. You know, and um, it's unfortunate that they have to go through that. I was interviewed by Bossup last week, and they pretty much twisted my words. They asked me the same question you did. Yeah. Right? But what they did was they took my words and took some out and then they, and they made it seem like I was throwing at Liza. Mm. Oh, well, that wouldn't be me. You wouldn't catch me, Sue and Joe. And No, I, I wouldn't throw at... You know, she, she's doing what she needs to do for her, for her peace of mind and for her family. And right. I respect that. That's between her and Joe. What I said was, me personally, I'm a different individual. I'm not the kind of go-to-court guy. I'd rather sit down and talk and and, 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 and and weed this out behind closed doors because I'm a private individual. Right. They made it seem like I was throwing at her. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Mm. You know, That's so true. I respect what she did and how she handled it, and, and she's doing what she needs to do for her. Me, personally, I wouldn't go to right. court. That's just me. Some people handle things different. Yeah. So, so now you're working on the music. Close is out. So right. what, what are the next steps? Um... I got new management. I'm finally a free agent. This is the first time in my career I don't, I'm not signed to a middleman or, or, mm-hmm. or a production company and things of that nature. And with 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 the whole being independent thing working out for everybody, I think that we we're gonna try to go that route. Um, I'm being managed by Lizzie Grootman and, and, and Lizzie Grootman. Yeah, she's she, fab. Yeah, that's my man. That. She's 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 my manager, and wow. you know, we're working hard, and we're in the studio. We're just recording the best songs we can possibly record, and make right. sure that after being long, after being gone for so long, and at one point in my life, I had like the most anticipated R&B album of the decade, and right. people were like, "Wow, you, nine major deals, and who signs nine major deals?" Mm-hmm. And you know. Is like if I wasn't talented and this is not what I was meant to do, who signs nine major deals? I True. don't know. 
He even got that know. pop love. Remember, She's Like the Wind, that song? I heard you on She's Pop like Radio. She's Like the Wind was yeah. number one in the country, yeah. number two on the charts, no yeah. follow-up record. Uh-huh. But, like, who has nine deals? Who has six major, seven major deals, three indies, and doesn't have a legitimate single or legitimate visual in rotation? Yeah. And I keep being told that the labels don't believe. Why would they keep signing me if they don't believe? Yeah. So the labels, they, I keep being told that the labels don't believe and the labels keep telling me that, you know, my, my, my team's practices are crazy and, you know, so it was just always oh, crazy. For mixed me. up. Well, yeah. you got it together, so you yeah, can only go up thing. from here, yeah. right? Yeah. So listen, uh, where can they contact you? What's your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all your socials, contact uh, numbers, phone numbers? Yeah. You know. IG is yeah. I am yeah. Tony yeah. Sunshine. Yeah. 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 Social yeah. Security. I am your Tony Sunshine. I am Tony Sunshine on IG. Yeah. I am Tony Sunshine Facebook. Um, Tony Sunshine BX at Twitter. Okay. He out here, man. Close. Thanks, Tony. Thank yeah. you for coming through, Thank man. you for having Thank me, you man. You guys your time, are man. great. Appreciate you guys. Thank <laughs> you.